What do you think God would be like? The light of the Holy Spirit, happiness, and laughter. The angel doesn't really have a thing flowing over their head or wings or a big white dress or something like that. They really look like people and they talk like God. Well, that's one of the best definitions I've ever heard. <laughs> you know, because they don't have to have wings, but because of their abilities, people associate them with wings. And sometimes they can, they can show you a form that you will relate to, because that's how it's working. Because God has an ability to take what's invisible and make it into something you can see. And that ability is an unlimited ability. You can really do whatever he wants. See, when we say, we say he, but, you know, it's, it's so big that it's not about being a he or a she. God's bigger than that. It's both. It's God both. is a he and a she. That's right. And that's why God relates equally to boys and girls and men and women and dogs and cats. It's all the same to God. God's everything. Now see, how did you know that? How did you know God's everything? No, because cause everything is a lot. And something, no one would be, nothing would be made without God in it. You got my vote. <laughs> There's nothing to say when you say something that's true. You just listen and go, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. That was really nice, huh? Thank you, Benjamin.